system. How amazing is this living organism? As Jay said, the immune system is the most diverse and the most fascinating of all systems in the body. He talked a little bit about the lymphatic system, and I want to start with that. The lymphatic system is sort of like the vacuum cleaner of your body. It's just b getting viruses and bacteria and toxins into lymph nodes and other parts. That lymph, lymphatic system doesn't have a pump like your heart. So activity is crucial to pump those toxins out of your body. Exercise is such as an important part of keeping your lymphatic system, your immune system healthy. You know, the best way to describe the immune system, I think, is sort of like soldiers and fortress. Our skin is the outer wall that protects us from invaders. And if you have healthy skin, those invaders can't penetrate. You know, the fort is further focused in areas that can, you know, like your nose, your ears, your eyes, your mucous linings, your lungs, and even your entire intestinal system. There are little hairs called cilia in your nose that help catch invaders. And those cilia um, are there for a purpose. Your tonsils are there for a purpose. They're like the smoke alarm in your body to catch invaders, to let the body know that we need to take care of strengthening that immune system. It's so important to use um, something like silver shield. The silver shield comes in a gel. Jay mentioned that briefly. Um, the products that are really good, you can Q-tip some of that in your nose and ears and eyes and keep, make sure your children don't bring home things. So let's talk just a little bit about what happens if those invaders do get past those first soldiers. They have to go to your stomach and your stomach has HCL, hydrochloric acid. So most of the invaders are taken care of at that point. But if there is injury to these physical barriers and maybe you don't have a healthy digestive system, then the soldiers have to go to work. And those soldiers include just a few of these um, really important parts to your immune system. Immune cells eat bacterial and viral invaders that injure body cells. White blood cells are known as T cells or B cells and they are lymphatic cells that originate in the bone marrow. Yes, your bone marrow is part of your immune system. Helper T cells, those are like drivers that get the killer T cells and the B cells where they need to go. And those killer T cells specialize in attacking infected cells in your body. The B cells produce soldiers, which are antibiotics, that directly destroy antigens neutralize toxins and incapacitate viruses and then your amazing living organism has memory cells imagine that you've had a bacterial or a viral infection well the memory cells of your body that have fought that for you remember that so if that same bacterial or viral enters your body again those memory cells act like your computer and they immediately identify, they know what to do 
to kill that bacteria or that virus again so that your body can respond quickly. The thymus gland is a very important part of your immune system. Your thymus gland is ro located right behind your, your breastbone. And we teach the thymus thump because when you stimulate that thymus gland, you are stimulating your body to release those killer cells to take care of any invader that's in your body. It's really wonderful to teach children that too, and they respond wonderfully. So what happens if your immune system is malfunctioning? We just talked a little bit, just a snippet about the function of that immune system. But if it's not working like it should, then we need to, to put those soldiers to work, don't we, okay? The invaders, most invaders come from common types of toxins. Those are bacteria, viral, free radicals, and toxins. And let's go back and talk a little bit about each one of those. Ba many bacteria produce toxins that damage your body cells, but not all bacteria is harmful. Some is even desirable, and those good bacteria live in your intestine. Viruses just destroy healthy cells. Free radicals and toxins. Toxins is any substance that causes abnormal reaction in the body. Common types of toxins come from chemicals, cleaning agents, mold, pollutants, and pesticides. An alarming amount of toxins exist in our food, our water, our air, and our soil. Did you know an estimated 85% of all debilitating diseases are related to pollu pollution from our environment? So it's important for us to take care of our environment too. Free radicals disrupt and destabilize our cells. So what is a free radical? A free radical is an abnormal cell. It, the free radical has taken an electron from a normal cell. And then that cell is looking for its missing part, so to speak. But all free radicals are missing the same part. So he's not going to find his missing part. Now researchers note that those free radicals many times clump together when they're looking for that missing electron. And researchers also identify cysts and tumors in our body as clumps of free radicals. So we want to be sure to learn how to destroy those free radicals. And we're gonna talk about that in some solutions. You know, the pollutants that we're talking about in our everyday life are also included in some supplements. Um, some companies just include fillers, pollutants, and preservatives. One of the most common is dyes, red dye, yellow dye, blue dye, in some of those supplements. So we want to help you learn how to read labels. We want to help you learn um, about whole food-based quality supplements so that your body gets the benefit that you're looking for in a timely manner. All right, we've talked a little bit about the function of the immune system and what happens when the immune system is not functioning, is malfunctioning. So let's talk a little bit about solutions. So what are solutions? Well, since 85% of all diseases are related to toxic environment, then our everyday lifestyle choices can decrease your toxic overload. Lifestyle choices, that would include eating fewer prepackaged meals, we all like the convenience of that, but live food, live produce is where we get our nutrients. Eat more organic produce. Drink good filtered water. Reverse osmosis filtration is the choice that we use. Use chemical-free cosmetics and cleansers and creams. Avoid artificial fragrances. Use chemical-free cleaning products. And when you're even putting gas in your car, avoid breathing those gas fumes the best that you can. So as you change some of your lifestyle choices, 
you will strengthen your immune system. It will become strengthened by food choices, stress management, your sleep habits, your water intake, your mental attitude, and exercise. One of the best exercises is what we call a little mini trampoline. And that mini trampoline is one of the best ways that you can pump your lymphatics so that your body functions to dump those toxins. Vitamins and minerals are a super important part of the solution. But do you feel like that that's a challenge? So let's talk about the nutrient challenge a little bit. As Jay said earlier, the American Medical Association asserts everyone should take a good multivitamin and mineral supplement. Now, in my experience and my years of reading labels and learning, there is not a multivitamin on the market that has enough dosage that one a day is enough. So we need to look at dosages, learn what our body needs, and we each need different amounts due to our lifestyles. Certain essential nutrients are not made in your body in sufficient amounts. We need to learn what essentials are. So what are the basic nutrients for our immune system? Recommended is that multivitamin and mineral with the correct dosage, and we want that multivitamin and mineral to include amino acids as well. Omega-3 fatty acids. These are called essential fatty acids. Antioxidants, probiotics. So when we're talking about a good multivitamin, what do we need to look at? What do we need to focus on? Remember, ACE plus B and D. ACE stands for vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, plus B and D. The B vitamins are known as the stress vitamins. Those are water soluble. Our body doesn't store extras. So everyone on this earth can benefit from a good B complex. The essential fatty acids, the omega-3 oils, they are numerous benefits to your circulatory system, to your immune system, as well as your brain. The antioxidants, those are the ones that counter the free radicals. Antioxidants are super important so that those free radicals can be eliminated before they destroy or damage healthy cells. And I want to share with you some information about probiotics. The probiotics probably are one of the most important nutrients in regard to your immune system. The term probiotic refers to good bacteria similar to those normally found in the gut, the colon. The intestinal tract is the largest organ in the immune system. I bet you didn't know that, did you? And many good microbes are present in both the large and small intestines. Gary Huffnagel, PhD with the University of Michigan Health System states, today the world of probiotics is emerging on the cutting edge of mainstream medicine. So we've got lots of research in regard to just how important probiotics can be for your immune system. So we're going to take just a little bit of time here, and then we're going to come back to our mailbag segment. 